Good morning, everybody. A beautiful September day where the time goes. I don't know, but we've already done Labor Day, and now we are ready for a very big event, which is the Food Bank of the Rockies Gather and So. I can't believe it's this Tuesday. And so today I have Chelsea Manley of Food Bank and Brendan Bailey of Root Down, which since day one has been one of my very favorite spots ever, any place. So good morning to both of you. Good morning. And how are you today? Doing well. We're getting down to the wire with this event, which is exciting. We're looking forward to being out there with everyone next Tuesday. I know. And Brendan, this is your first time at this event. Root Down is joining us and we are thrilled. Chelsea, give a brief over look at the event. Sure. Uh, Gather and Sew is Food Bank of the Rockies signature farm to table event. It's taking place this Tuesday, which is September 12th at Denver Botanic Gardens, Chatfield Farms. And you will enjoy locally sourced plates by some of the best chefs in Denver, top restaurants. Um, we have a live auction. We grab a signature beverage, walk through the gardens before we get started on a program and you enjoy the meal. It's just a really magical evening. And um, most importantly, all the proceeds from this event go directly to Food Bank of the Rockies hunger relief efforts, which provide nourishing food to families experiencing food insecurity. You know, people have stopped me when I was telling about the event that happened yesterday. And they said to me, are they really in need now? And I don't think people realize how great the demand is. Yeah, our need is still higher than it was pre-COVID. Um, we're currently spending three times as much per month um, on purchased food than we were pre-COVID to, to meet the need. And weren't you serving an enormous number of meals each week? Of what was that, Gabby? Aren't you serving, giving uh, meals an enormous amount of people each week? We do 175,000 meals per day. Per day? Per day. Oh, oh, I told somebody per week and they said that's impossible. Yep, 175,000 okay. meals per day. Well, I was only six days wrong. And we are, are, we are a distributor, so we don't just do that ourselves. We work with over 800 hunger relief partners throughout Colorado and Wyoming, and we're the distribution hub for them. So we buy the food with your donated dollars, we source the food, we get food donated to us, and we work with those partners to get the food um, all across both states. And those partners are community pantries, church pantries, um, nonprofits like Denver Rescue Mission, um, bigger organizations like Boys and Girls Club, and they get the food directly to the people who need it. That's fabulous. Okay, we're going to talk to Brendan now, but one sec, Brendan. Let's explain, no matter the weather, it's an outdoor dinner at the Botanic Gardens Chapel but we're undercover. Yes, we are covered. Um, we had a little bit of rain last year and it actually just cooled everything off a little bit for everyone. Um, the chefs are covered, you're covered under the tables and Chatfield right now is just so gorgeous. Everything is still thriving, um, but it kind of feels like those early signs of fall. So it's, it's really nice out there. Well, the weather forecast I heard was cooler starting Monday and Tuesday. And I did want people to know that we're all protected, even though you're outdoors, uh, leave your high heels at home. <laughs> you know, come wear walking through Botanic Garden shoes. Okay, Brenda, tell us about, well, start with, tell us about Root Down. Uh, well, Root Down, um, we're part of the Edible Beats uh, restaurant group here. Uh, we're the older, oldest restaurant in that group. Um, been open since uh 2008 um yeah we're, we've kind of we're one of the first uh restaurants there in the lower highlands and now I we're think we're about the first. yeah now we're joined by you know some of the best restaurants in the city uh over in that area um along with you know some of our sister restaurants linger 
and L5 um, as well. Um, but, you know, we, we call ourselves um, vegetable focused world cuisine, which means uh, we get to do kind of whatever we like um, at the moment. Um, we kind of have free reign um, as far as, you know, where we want to pick and choose from around the world to be inspired by. Um, and, uh, you know, that's kind of root down. We're kind of a uh, uh, mid-century kind of inspired uh, vibe inside of our space. Um, we're an old filling station that we turned into a restaurant with a lot of uh, reclaimed and recycled elements used um, in the construction of the restaurant. And gorgeous patios. Yes, yes. Wonderful views. We're very, very lucky to have the space that we have. And total aside, one of the best happy hours I've ever seen. But, <laughs> uh, so, okay, tell us first what you're going to be doing for the event gathering. So, and then Chelsea and I can ask you a bit about the rest of the menu. Yeah, so we're doing the uh, salad course, um, which I believe is the first course. Uh, and uh, which is fantastic because uh, Edible Beats Company, we started a new kind of, uh, you know, finger of the company, if you will, this year, uh, which is our Beatbox Farm. Um, we have a uh, indoor, uh, basically it's in a shipping container. It's a hydroponic, vertical hydroponic farm um, that we are uh, growing a lot of our own produce and herbs um, and stuff like that in there, you know, mostly leafy greens uh, and stuff like that to start. And we're still figuring it out, um, but uh, really, really excited to have that as, uh, you know, part of our future at Edible Beats. So utilizing uh, greens um, from that uh, farm. Um, so I'm doing a salad with that, their uh, signature greens mix, which has you know, some spicy mustards and um, some, I believe, like tot soy um, and some other, uh, you know, kind of Asian greens mixed in there as well. Um, so I'm doing a salad with that, which has uh, as the base an Induya honey whipped goat cheese. Uh, mm. The salad is dressed in a Palisade peach vinaigrette with um, fresh Palisade peaches as well. Uh, it's gonna have fried garlic chips and smoked almonds uh, to finish it off. So a fairly simple salad, but kind of highlighting the greens and the beautiful Palisade peaches, which are still uh, coming in strong. My stomach's growling right now. <laughs> and I awesome. It does. Uh, first of all, Edible Beach, you, Justin Cucci, and the whole group do amazing things. You're always the first to do something new and wonderful. And this is fabulous. We're really thrilled. Tell us about some of the other favorites on the menu right now. I mean, we specifically made you do a salad. Oh, yes. Uh, some of the favorites on the Root Down menu. Um, yeah, so always, you know, a crowd favorite is our uh, uh, Colombian arepas, um, oh. slightly untraditional, but, uh, you know, I feel like anything with corn masa is very, very comforting and, and goes well in Denver. Um, you know, our risotto is always seasonal and um, also a bit untraditional, but still very comforting. Um, we also have a really fantastic pasta on the menu right now, which is you know, kind of funky and weird. Um, what is it? It's a popperdell pasta that we make in house. Um, it has a sweet corn and whiskey puree in the pasta itself, um, and then it's coated in a like fairly simple basil pesto. Um, it has uh, grilled sweet corn, um, serrano chilies, uh, charred strawberries, um, and uh, a strawberry tomato vinaigrette with it. It's oh very, my God. very different, um, but it just works really well. Okay, the other dishes that you mentioned are some of my favorites too. This one, I have not had. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting. It's just kind of our, we don't do pasta, you know, traditional pasta a whole lot. Um, so we tried this and it just, it, it really, it, it works for me. And us. 
And it's fun there because you have the appetizer, the salads and soup and that, and then the share plates that you've just been talking about. And then you do have some entrees if people want that as well. Yes, of course. Um, yeah, we always have uh, at least four or five entrees, you know, fish, chicken. Um, right now we have bison. Um, and, uh, you know, we always have a vegan vegetarian entree as well, which is uh, about to change here in the next week or so. Um, so, yeah, we're always switching it up. Well, I mean, it's great fun to go there because if you, you can share and it's fabulous or not. You didn't even mention your sliders, which are also wonderful. <laughs> but it's and desserts and everything else service. Uh, it's and a great wine list and drinks too. You've got it all. Root yes, down. especially our desserts right now too. Um, you know, our executive pastry chef uh, for the company, uh, Joy Williams. She's just does a fantastic job, um, and I think that this iteration of our dessert menu is is still like the best yet. So um, so we have some really wonderful things on there as well. We have um, like a s'mores dessert, which we've kind of reinvented for the third or fourth time. Um, we have a, a, a fantastic Palisade peach dessert as well. They're just really fantastic. Well, you've got a great crew and doing a great job. Uh, Chelsea, what more should, should we talk about? with the event well why don't we talk about the restaurants who are going to be there just so brenda knows who his friends yeah. are <laughs> he does but definitely so we have um we have two chefs doing appetizers two chefs and restaurants and that is um dan siegel of ac serve and dana rodriguez of working class and then um as you mentioned brendan oh. you're doing the first course oh sorry gab what was that Working class, but you also have to say Casa Bonita. Yes, the executive chef of Casa Bonita, and she has other ventures as well. Super okay. Mega Vegan, Cantina Loca, um, Dana's awesome. So Brendan is doing the first course, which he just described. Um, we have Fruition doing the second course. And then we have um, Barilla Grill, Daryl Truitt doing the third course. And to wrap everything up, we have um, Keegan and Lisa of D-Bar doing dessert. You know, well, we all know Keegan and Lisa. And it's a marvelous, marvelous menu. Great. Everything there is included with your ticket, your drinks, your appetizers, your great time. <laughs> and it's a wonderful, wonderful event. Can we? somebody still get a ticket? Yes, we have a few tickets left to sell. Um, we are shutting down ticket sales at the end of the day today. So Friday today will be the last day that you can purchase a ticket for this event on Tuesday. Um, and then we'll soon after have something happening for the 2024 event and we'll get those tickets up on sale at the beginning of the new year. Let's get through this one first. <laughs> yes. But the guys, it, well, gosh, the chefs, female, male, the great people, they stay with us, they've been with us, and hope to have them with us all the time. And if you're, you've never been, you have no idea what you're missing. It is just beyond awesome. And Brendan, I can't thank you enough and Root Down and Edible Beats for joining us. Give everybody the hours and blah, blah, blah of Root Down, or do you know? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> drilling me here. Be amazed. Um, many... we're, we're open seven days a week um, for dinner. Uh, that starts at uh, happy hour starts at 430 regular dining at five um, Monday through Friday, uh, then five to uh, 1030 seating on Saturday uh, five to nine thirty seating on Sunday night. Um, and then of course we do brunch Saturday and Sunday, 10 to two is the seat. And possibly some of the best brunch I have ever had. I may be a little biased, but I agree. Oh, and every time I bring someone from out of town, 
they're moving here just to eat brunch there. And how do I get a reservation? Well, you're on 33rd No Sage. Yes, um, you can always use Open Table. You can uh, use the Root Down or Edible Beats website. Um, you can call or text our host stand as well. And my advice is have a reservation. It's Never much hurts. easier. Yeah. Chelsea, information for getting to uh, participate and be part of uh, Gathering Salt. Yes, you will visit foodbankrockies.org. Um, there is a tab on our main website for events. You'll find Gather and Sew, and all of the information is there, and you can purchase your ticket there. And we hope to see everybody there. And I'm just trying to figure out what day I can get to root down to have that pasta before the event. Let me know when you're going, Gabby. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I really want that. Okay. Uh, I can't make it personal. I'll call you in a minute. <laughs> and Thank you both so much. Uh, yes. And for everybody, please like and subscribe to the Gab, G-A-B-B, on YouTube. You'll see this on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You'll see all of us at Gathering So. And I hope to see you all often. Be well. Have a great day. Love you all. Thank you. All right, bye-bye.